Hey there guys and welcome to Shield Busters. We've got an interesting one for you today, so let's get to it. I don't remember a reason given for that. Does anybody else? They had to, they had to fit in more propaganda visits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, they didn't say that, did they? But but that's uh, what happened. For propaganda, for propaganda, for propaganda, for pro 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 propaganda. That's uh, what happened. So I wrote an email to my local member of parliament about the CCP shields. Now instead of explaining everything to you guys, I'm just going to read the email to you. So here we go. Dear Blah Blah, my name is Lewis Hand and I'm currently a constituent of Blah Blah. I'm writing to you today because I'm concerned about UK nationals returning from China who are actively engaged in spreading propaganda for the Chinese Communist Party. I have followed developments in China for some time with regards to its actions in Hong Kong and beyond. The Uyghur genocide that China has been committing for many years whilst covering it up and China's dangerous threatening behaviour towards the West. There are a number of non-Chinese nationals, including several high-profile UK nationals who actively promote Chinese Communist Party propaganda and genocide denial. They have created a huge disinformation campaign to make China look bad, to make it look like there is an atrocity. A genocide, they say, a genocide. There is no proof of genocide, there is no proof of atrocity. All this has been debunked many times. There's literally not one single shred of evidence of anything <laughs> happening in Xinjiang. Now, I know many people in the West are referring to these as, as concentration camps. Um, and China, Chinese authorities refer to them as sort of vocational or retraining centers. I guess my opinion is the truth is probably somewhere in the middle of those two extreme sort of descriptions of them. I, I suspect, although I don't have any evidence, that they're probably like prisons would be in the UK where people are locked up and they try to re-educate them. Um, so the Chinese authorities claim that the people in here are um, being re-educated. They're having the, the extremist thoughts sort of, you know, um, re rewired, let's say, um, to, to get rid of those extremist thoughts from them. They're also being taught to um, have skills. And um, so when they, they come out of these places, they, they can better integrate back into normal society. Not only is this abhorrent, but they achieved this via Western internet services such as YouTube and social media services which are banned by law in China. This means they are doing this deliberately, with the blessing and possibly with the financial backing of the Chinese Communist Party. These individuals have been well documented by traditional media, reporters and YouTube channels who aim, with evidence, to debunk their claims. I would like you to read this BBC article about these compromised influencers. The problem I have with these compromised influencers is they will just come back to the UK freely and act as if they never did propaganda on behalf of the Chinese Communist Party. This is even more relevant due to the fact that Russian state media such as Russia Today has been banned in the UK. I would like to know why are we not doing the same to Chinese state-run propaganda? At the very least, shouldn't they be labelled as such on social media? I am greatly concerned that their social media accounts are not marked as Chinese state affiliated and I worry that the average British citizen who is not familiar with how Chinese Communist Party propaganda works will fall for this Chinese Communist Party disinformation. In this day of misinformation and the impact it has in society, I find it very disturbing that lies and projection directed to the West along with the horrors of well-documented genocide, can be supported and profiteered by these individuals. 
What can the government do to address this and deter others from promoting propaganda that has the capability to cause harm to the UK, the rest of the world and continue to cover up genocide? Yours faithfully, Lewis Hand. So that was my email and I'm not sure if it will have an impact or make a difference or not but what I am sure of is that these foreign propagandists for the Communist Party of China should be on the radar of the British government. And if they weren't on that radar, well hopefully after this email they are now. These shills have been busted. Again. You guys still here? What are you spying on me or something? Don't you know guys, the video's over. Anyway, while we're here, I'd very quickly just like to thank all of my Patreon members. That's Harry Shu, Jack Tai, Scott Barker, Big Mackerel, Jalen3000, Richard Yeah, Philip Jones, Thomas AE, J Leo, Couch Potato, Lightseeker, and H2O. And of course, I'd like to thank my channel members. Jerry Huang and John Lee. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support, and thank you to all of my subscribers and everybody who likes my videos. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.